Yeah. Yo, what's going on everybody? It's your boy iPod King Carter here. Welcome to Q&A Sunday. I'm shooting this from the Renaissance Hotel right now. I'm in LA. I'm getting ready for E3 tomorrow, so I'm going to be jam-packed with schedules, appointments, parties, games. It's going to be insane. But let's hop into Q&A Sunday, man. All right, so today's first question comes from a Jay Sean Gallagher. He wants to know if I go to church on Sundays with my family. Well, I'm gonna have to answer that with a sorry no. I haven't been to church in a while. Uh, the last time I went to church, I actually went to go watch my mom sing in the choir, but as a ritual that we do every Sunday, I'm sorry to say we don't. And that's mainly because my girlfriend works on Sundays and we both don't have off, and I usually let her take the car. All right, so the next question comes from Just Cause. He says, since you're from Chester, what's better, JNS or Showwells? All right, for the people who aren't from Chester, PA, I'm gonna give you a little bit of background. He's talking about a Chinese store right now. Yes, he's talking about a Chinese store. JNS is on 9th Street and Showwells is over town. Now, me being from over town, mostly all of my childhood, because of my dad's store over there, I've always went to Showwells. I've never really been a fan of JNS. So, when it comes to Showwells or JNS, I gotta go with Showwells, bro. By the way, if anybody is from the area, you know, tri state area, Delaware, Philadelphia, Chester, PA, anywhere, media whatever make sure you go check my dad out over town you know what i'm saying his uh clothing store is called yamin clothing he does screen print he does embroidery um they even got a barbershop in the store so you know definitely go check that joint out i think it's like 536 avenue of the states it's right across the street from the bus terminal you can't miss it all right so the next question comes from shady paul he wants to know if i'm going to be doing a walkthrough for batman the only way that I see myself doing a walkthrough for Batman is if I cut it up into small parts. I don't see myself putting out like long walkthroughs anymore because I don't think you guys like them. You know what? I'm going to leave it up to you guys. If you want to see a long walkthrough like part one, part two, part three, part four, let me know inside the comment section. Or if you want me to cut it up into funny moments and do it that way, let me know that as well. I'll leave that up to you guys. Uh oh. Uh oh, um, MTC Carter wants to know what happened to my WWE 2K15 series. I'm gonna have to answer that with the my career part or the my story. It didn't have a voice for the character. Now they said they were gonna be trying to upgrade things for 2K16, but in 2K15, you know, I was trying to do the voice acting for it, trying to say the parts, and it was just it was too much time consumed consumption man i just couldn't do it i couldn't put my all into it because i had fun with the game but i just couldn't you know not have cutscenes that have voices I, i'm sorry okay the next question comes from abdor main i hope i said that right they want to know what my first job was funny thing my first job under the table was cutting grass with my dad uh, my first job where I actually got taxes taken out was the McDonald's that used to be at the Grand and Run Mall. All right, I've answered enough questions from YouTube. If you want to leave me a comment in the comment section and you want to be a part of Ask IKC, go ahead and leave a comment below. Uh oh, we got one of those questions. King B. Miller would like to know what are my biggest pet peeves? All right, so number one. This is like numero uno. I can't stand feet. Oh my God. I just can't stand them, yo. I can't do feet, bro. I just I just can't do it. My girl asked me to rub her feet. I just be looking at her like. <laughs> um, another pet peeve I can say is if I'm having a conversation with somebody and another person constantly butts in on that conversation, that really ticks me off. Like, bro, you see me fucking talking to somebody, why would you try to butt? I don't care if you said excuse me. Right now, this is about A and B. I don't even want them to see you. I don't want to see you. Don't Just don't do it. If you ever see me out and about and I'm having a conversation with somebody, wait your turn. Don't just butt all up in the conversation, get me off track, I got a one track mind. Man, my son does this all the time, yo. Me and my girl will be talking in the car. Dad, dad, guess what? He don't want nothing. 
he just want to be part of the conversation. Oh my God. Me and my girl talk about that all the time. And uh, I guess my third pet peeve would have to be don't touch nothing I touch. Yeah. That, that sounds about right. If I clean something up, don't come back behind me and clean it up yourself. I like stuff the way I like it. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Am I taking shots at my family too much? I'm sorry, babe. I'm sorry, son. All right. We got the last question uh, for Twitter is from JDVR2112. He wants to know when I'm going to be starting my My Park in Real Life series and if I can add him on PSN. Well, if you're watching this video, I'm going to need your PSN and able to add you. Uh, and also for the My Park in Real Life series, the reason why I haven't started it just yet is because I've been traveling a lot. Um, I'm in LA, like I said, for E3. I'll be here until about the 18th or 19th. Then I'm going to be taking a family trip until the 23rd. And I'll be in Vegas from the 19th until then. But once I get back home, I'll start, you know, putting all the clips together, start shooting a little bit more, and I'll be giving you guys episode one. Uh, my goal for the My Park in Real Life series is to, you know, make sure it goes on World Star, make sure, you know, we meet our goals, and try to make it a funny parody and great production. That's the main thing on my list right now for uh, My Park series. All right, I've answered enough questions from Twitter. If you want to be a part of this series for Ask IKC, make sure you at me on Twitter and use the hashtag Ask IKC in your questions so I can see it. Hey, iPod, I just want to know, who you, what do you think is the best game, 2K or NBA Live? This right here, I'm out, and I'm out. Peace. All right, so right hit him up. Uh, to go at that question, I'm going to have to take the side of 2K at the moment. Um, I heard that NBA Live 16 is looking pretty good, but I haven't seen any of 2K. Um, I wish there was like more of an open line of communication with gamers and dev team like it is at um, over at EA. Now, I've heard from you know many sources that EA is really trying to put something together to make a great game, but I haven't heard much from 2K besides you know what they put out on social media. So, you know, I'm still going to have to take 2K side because they've been a superior game for the last 10 years. The last good live game that I liked was like 05 or 06. So, like, for the last 10 years, 2K has taken the title because of being the best basketball game. But, you know, we'll, we'll have to see, man. We'll have to see what live is actually looking like, how the gameplay is, the graphics, you know, the modes, everything. You know, 2K... The only thing that hinders 2K is animations and online uh, lag as well as glitching. Um, there have been a lot of glitches in the game this year and a lot of people are getting fed up, but I still got 2K side on this. What's good, IKC? I was just asking for Ask IKC. I was just wondering, do you think Kobe can come back strong next year? Thanks, bro. Okay, uh, he wants to know if Kobe Bryant can come back strong. I believe that he can. Kobe Bryant is one of those players that has that drive in them to be one of the greatest of all time. And when you have a drive like that, I don't think age is a factor. Like, I truly don't. Like, we've all seen some greats leave the league. You know, may it be injuries or may it be, you know, their time or may it be, you know, some abrupt decisions. But... For some of those other legends that come back to the NBA to give it another go, they've always done well. MJ came back, did well. Grant Hill came back, did well. And I feel like, you know, even though Kobe only played a few games last season, he was still a force. Like, they always tell me, you know, when I, when I go to the park and stuff like that, that old heads may lose their athleticism. But they never lose their skill. They never lose their jump shot. I've seen old heads around my way hit 15 straight from three. What do you think an NBA player bred to do what he do can do? Like, I think Kobe's going to come back strong. Now, as for the playoffs, I don't know. But I know Kobe's going to do well. I just hope, you know, he doesn't get any more injuries. Yo, what's going on? 
Hip-Hop Podcast Card and you're my favorite YouTuber. And I just wanted to know, because I'm planning on getting the Xbox One this year, and I wanted to know if you're, um, if you're getting an Xbox One and will you plan on playing Park and Blacktop in my part in the Rex and Thanks, man. Peace. All right, my friend. Um, I'm going to have to go ahead and... uh tell you that I'm not getting an Xbox anytime soon. Uh, I've said this in many of videos, I'm a PS4 guy and to me, I know you know a lot of my fan base are Xbox One people, but it's hard for me to play on two different consoles. Now the funny thing is I've been on Xbox 360 for like the last two years with my players, but now that PlayStation 4 has great party chat system and messaging system. I just went back home to PlayStation, so I won't be getting an Xbox One. Now, maybe I might get my son one and be on it sometimes, but I feel like when it's time for me to go to the park, to the rec, you know, stuff like that, I like to play on PSN because a lot of my friends are on PSN. You know, I'm sorry, bro, I'm not getting an Xbox One. Sorry. Well, ladies and gentlemen, that looks like that's all the voicemails for today. I want to thank everybody for coming through to the video. Make sure you guys drop a comment if you want to be a part of this series. Make sure you leave me a voicemail. My phone number is inside the about section as well. Or you can tweet me. Now, uh, the air conditioning just came on in the hotel, so I think that's my cue to roll. I'm going to holler at you guys in the next one, man. This is your boy IKC signing out. Peace.